Hello. I forgot to put on my headset. But anyways, I was not talking. So, so there was that. And final rank season of Vanguard Zero. And I'm the only one streaming the game. Which is okay. I did make a lot of deck profile videos. Which is why I haven't been active for the past couple of days. Some of them are made because I just realized I don't have a deck profile video a day. Like two days from now, there's gonna be another one or something. Uh, Negro Lazy Ride, Calling Cannoneer. Mm. And this is my late, this is the latest version of the Grand Blue decklist. It took me like three takes. The first take was pretty bad. The second take was okay. The third take was like the best, even though the games weren't. I forgot already. Did they win those games? But uh, they were okay. They were okay. Sadly, I just used Negro Songer for majority of the games. Because Negro Songer is such a good card, I made him to a four of instead. Before, like my first time, first time, because you guys watch me on stream most likely. I used to run just two of him, then I made him up to four. Since I got the SP copy of Dragot, so put a, I crafted another copy. I feel sad. The person that I watch has now given up on things like his Discord. I I tried to go to his Discord and it's not active, which is kind of sad. And I also check his Discord servers. Like I know he's also part of my thing, so he should be. Able, I'm gonna just like gaming. I just feel sad, but maybe he uh, feels sad. I just feel sad. But then again, it's pretty hard to be a YouTuber slash Twitch streamer because you have to because it's like it's such low term, such low rewards for such a high risk. But it's like you have to stream like hours on end and hope for you to get a viewer then you have to hope to get at least three consistent viewers to get affiliated huh. so that's the hard part <laughs> and also in twitch news kick is getting up there they're getting major streamers to just stream on kick now which is a big loss for twitch because it's but the Thing is kick is slowly gonna try to replace twitch same thing with rumble with youtube but thing is like problem with rumble is that rumble's app is not that good i checked the app it's not good because like in youtube i can upload videos from my app that's how i upload my youtube shorts so many shorts so many shorts and currently i'm doing a binge on the gacha waiting screen for the old sets not the clan sets because like the clan sets were built after G started so new players can have easy access to old cards by picking one clan even realistically it's better just pick a specific set because like certain cards are good like Berserk Dragon, Bellicosity, Dragon Over the End but the end can be get can be obtained easily if you play the first set of G because the first set of G gives you the cross and the cross legion packs how legion works is in Vanguard they only have the legion leader in their pack sets so when you put the legion leader you automatically get the mate which was good which isn't a thing in real life except for legion rares which was so annoying like oh my gosh I need the mate oh my gosh I can't get the mate because like the mate is like more highly valued like like there was this triple R card, Menace Laser Dragon or Pain Laser Dragon. It's mate is such a good card, but because it's such a good card, it's so hard to find him. Like, like it's so hard to get him. Like, so hard. I think it's Menace Laser Dragon is the Legion leader. It's hard to get Pain Laser Dragon because like, because like you only are allowed to get eight great trees or seven great trees in your what's it again in your deck 
in the TCG when Legion was around. Because of that, because of that, you're only allowed to pick two cards to be your grade threes, which are Menace Laser or Vortex Dragon Mute, which was a pretty good card in its time. And yeah, but once the great came along, once the great came along, it basically replaced Menace Laser because people still like Dragon Newt because of Dragon Newt skill of dealing one damage, which was more OP in the TCG than in it in, than in Zero because in Zero, if the, you deal damage, your opponent still gets a plus five hundred power. But in in real life Vanguard, it's a big deal because it's like what are the chances? Hmm. This requires to hit. I'm gonna call this thing here. Oopsie, active please don't activate. And I'm getting a speech speech impediment because when I talk I notice I hurt myself by smashing my smashing my jaws too hard that it hurts my teeth so I have to rework the way I speak which is hard because I'm quite old and my muscle memory is already old so it's gonna be re really hard to rework those muscles especially my tongue then again whoa soy I can do this, hi. My Chinese is not that good. What the putang wa puhao? Wa is me. Ta is like is or something. Or gives ownership of something. Then putang wa is Chinese for more layman terms. Even though you can say chong yi, chong hua, shua hua, but just speak. In Mandarin, by the way, it's Mandarin. That's the Chinese dialect I learned, which is kind of sad because the, the Chinese that's native to my country, at least for the people who are Chinese, is Hokkien, and it's literally a dying language. It's literally a dying language. Chit nang pa si go lak chit kao chap. That is Hokkien. I don't know if I said all the numbers. Chit nang sa. Chit nang sa si go cha chit pue kao cha yeah okay said so one to ten in Hokkien which is in Mandarin e er san se u liu chi pa jiu shi I don't know if I got intonations correctly huh huh I just feel sad that gaming just gaming just but then again, it's been like over how many months already since gaming centralization has streamed his videos. Because me and him, we both got affiliated around the same time. The only difference is he got sponsors, but then again, he pays attention to Streamlabs or whatever it is. I don't do that. I just stream on Twitch Studios because it's easier on me. Yeah. Uh, plus, I'm not that attractive to be a to what was this again to be. I'm not attractive enough for me to. Yeah, for me to what was this again? For me to I'm losing my words here. For me to attract sponsors, my brain has become very slow from lack of use. And I have to search my words because it's been a while, guys. It's literally been a while since I actually talked to people. Like, trying to talk and express myself, that's very hard to do nowadays because it's like. Because talking is hard.
I am hollow. If only I have serpent here, but I don't have serpent. Yeah. I did the wrong column. Should have called this girl here over here instead. Hollow just so I can get the counter charge later. Because Grenach is so hard to call. Because there are other good cards to call. You only want Grenach to counter charge. <coughs> you have another one. And they do have another one, so. And can I survive the onslaught? The answer is a big fat no. Counter charge. Activate skill mill. To call this thing, I shouldn't have called this thing, by the way. Because. I shouldn't have called it skull for it's hollow. Might have gone negro lazy instead, but CB cause. This is the last rank fight of Vanguard Zero. Literally, literally the last rank fight. Meaning, there's nothing we can do anymore. Like, the only thing we can do is like record our games. Record everything as much as we can. Like, for example, the story lore of Vanguard Zero, I don't record that. I think different fight has recorded that, recorded that, or the the or the fans recorded that on the Vanguard wiki. They most likely did that. If they haven't, ouch. Mm. And I am dead because I need to heal do I have even heal stuff I have no more heal so I am completely dead I am completely dead if only I had like one perfect guard but I don't have a perfect guard and did I even activate a perfect guard I activated at least one no wait this came from my deck so I have not activated a single perfect guard this game oh well it's a loss. At least I'm not facing a top tier deck. Blasters is not really top tier because it's like the, the best Royal Paladin deck is like Jewel Knights or Altmile. Jewel Knights because it has a good rush format. Like it has a good rush play going on for it. And when you stride to Evangeline, you are able to retire. So the only good aspect of Blasters, which is Blaster Blade. Ability to retire Blaster Blade Spirit if you run that card to retire is not as needed because Evangeline is there. Then we have Altmile where Lavrot kinda replaces Blaster Blade because you swing with your regard to regard, then you have Lavrot, Lavrot swings to the other regard, Lavrot, then Superior calls something that's not a Lavrot, then that thing attacks whatever is left, which is most like the Vanguard, unless they're Gear Chronicle with Nepada. And then that thing, which is most like Soliman, Soliman, activates his skill to call Liverot. Then Liverot attacks, and Liverot calls another Soliman, then the Soliman calls another Liverot. Rinse and repeat until you have no more CB. This is the game plan of Altmile. You don't need strides, you just need those two cards. Striding is just a bonus to the deck. Once you reach like at least GB1 or GB2, you're golden. Because there's like no GB3 cards, and we don't even have GB8s in zero. Which is kind of sad. Because in the end, we don't even have... Uh, what was it again? G Guardians. And G Guardians were, were introduced at the same time as Fighters Collection 2. 
I believe. Yeah, I was introduced in Fighters Collection 2. Well, if they introduce G guards, it would be better because it will ump the heal guards from 15k to 20k. Or 20k, which would be better, meaning like you need two triggers now to go through a heal guard. Which will make the value of your guard slightly better. Oh my gosh, it's Narukami. The bane of Grand Blue. It's literally the bane because Narukami binds cards in the drop zone. Unless this is a VP farm. It's a VP farm, oh well. The bane of Grand Blue. Like even Solemn Vanguard, uh, one of the best Grand Blue players in the world, still says that Grand Blue is still a pain. Riding stride harder because I want to keep my PG. Okay, it's never mind. It's just eradicator. But then again, eradicator not that great. When it comes to what was it? When it comes to like that build of eradicator has long, has long gone away. Like the best build of eradicator is what was it? Uh, it is a uh, descendant. Which I made two deck profiles about because like I tried going Gauntlet Buster, but like Gauntlet Buster skill doesn't go well with you wanting to stride. Like the only reason you even want to stride Gauntlet Buster is like for the Gauntlet Buster specific stride because its skill is when it, you activate its skill, it will give you a retire for free, which will give proc its skill to give it plus three k in a crit. Basically, a G for Gauntlet Buster. With extra steps. And by the looks of it, the person I'm playing is just using a mishmash deck. Mishmash deck. With stride fathers. Then it gets easy to get stride fathers because it's like Fighters Collection 1 and Vanguard 0 gave us four copies of the stride father, four copies of the perfect guard as the double R cards in the set. And because of that, we got so many copies. That's why we have the stride fodder for Gaia and the counter charging PG. Uh. Still, why are you using Linchu? Linchu's skill is useless unless your Vanguard's an Eradicator. You should go with Saishin or the Legion one that helps with the Legion, please, because he runs a Legion duck card and he runs a Vanquisher's. Uh, I mean. Vermilion support, so there's that. He runs Vermilion support, so he should. He should use the Legion support because Vermilion has a Legion leader called Crimson, and I should not have like real duck in real life. And currently, my friend is having it. I hope he didn't sell it because uh, then again. It's not like he watches my streams or my YouTube channel. I just hope he doesn't sell it because he's been eyeing my uh, gate sleeves, which is. I forgot the character's name, but it's from Gate. It's the lowly goddess thing? Mercury something? I always have the part of the internet, I can just search it. Mm. <sighs> I know one of them is Mercury though. Okay, I'm wrong. Yeah, it's Rory Mercury. I was tried. Name one of the name is Mercury. Okay, I was tried father, so I can stride with ease. I have to go with Obadiah first because I need to fill my drop zone back. <gasps> Look at my drop zone. It is so weak. Oh my gosh, I made a misplay.
todo. Because he should have activated the skill to banish Greenhatch uh, to send Greenhatch to the drop zone. Oh well. And that thing just bite me in the butt. I should have made that hollow to give more power. Yeah. It's really a mishmash deck. But still, like, no grade zeros? Like, what is this? Are they, like, doing manually VP farming by just playing the game? And playing a bad deck? Oh, they updated the site before when you minimize a window in, on Twitch, you can't see the ch Twitch chat anymore or type in the Twitch chat. Now it's either you look at the Twitch chat or you look at the player if you minimize the screen too much. Oh, Vanquisher. I'm just removing all of it. I'm just gonna go focus on streaming like right now. And plus, the people who are watching are not like lit, like people who I'm close to. Then again, uh, final, I'm not really close to final anymore, which is kind of sad. But then again, he streams way late. Then again, I like, stay up late nowadays so I could dub watch his streams. But now, not so much because it's like so late. I just lurk when I can. Still, his deck is really weird. My pawn deck is really weird. And final uses stream Vanguard there, but now it's gone, so it hurts. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, Nergo Songer is my first stride. Can possibly win here right now. Wait. And I won because my pawn didn't have enough PGs. Oh well. I thought I was gonna lose, but my fear was. Damn, I just overestimated my opponent. But then again, it's like, what will I do now once Vanguard dies? I'm trying to stream. As much as I can. Oh, by the way, there's clan battles later in seven hours time, and I'm not streaming it. It's it's not seven. It is like eight hours currently, around eight hours, less than eight hours from now. There's gonna be a clan battle tournament. I won't be streaming it because I won't be able to stream majority of the stream bat clan battle games because I'll be out tomorrow for like the whole day, starting 10 a.m. 
Because we might have dinner tomorrow with my mom's friend. Because we might have dinner tomorrow, so it's gonna be hard for me to stream. Because like majority of the games is like AM, so it's gonna be hard. Okay. Oh my, there's gonna be a possible game I can stream at 10 p.m. I just alarm myself. Then again, I slept around 5 a.m. today and I woke up around 7. Which is very bad. Uh, it's mostly because it's like so hard to sleep by yourself. Especially when you don't have good pillows. Then again, I have plenty of pillows. Don't have good blanket. That I can actually say. I don't have a good blanket. The blanket is not fluffy enough for me. Hmm. Oh my. Okay. Keeping hand again. And it's gold pladen. If I think about it, I can make a Garmor deck. A Garmor deck and it will be okay-ish. Because I have the cards for Garmor. I could just turn to Garmor Gize if I wanted to. Oh. If push comes to shove, I just turn it to a Gize deck. That's the only good aspect of Gize. You can turn any bad deck into a Gize deck. Oh wait, I can turn my Mega Colony into a Gize deck. Yeah. Just because I can, like, like, what's the worst thing that can happen? Like, what's the worst thing that can happen? I either die faster because Gize nullifies trigger gain, or I Gize them. But then again, I already made the deck profile form for Dark Face, so there's no need. I could make machining. I just have to craft a lot of cards for machining. Like a lot of cards for machining. Then again, machining's main game plan was way better compared to Dark Face for a, for a long time. Like until we got the Dark Face tried. But then again, the Dark Face tried was the first wave. It came with the first wave, which is very weird. It came in the first wave. It literally came in the first wave of support, which is ironic because it's like we didn't get that support until the second or third wave of of Mega Colony. But then again, it's mostly most likely second wave of Mega Colony. Uh, I feel sad that we will never get the Grandora alternate art because instead of getting a Grandora alternate art, we get 50 pieces for. A Vanguard Cube, and we don't even get them in the coupon exchange. Come on, give it to us in the coupon exchange. Okay, we got the new Garmore. What does the new Garmore do? I have four copies, but never bothered using. Okay, yeah, then that's our. I was reading that. Never mind, and he's just like, who cares about liberators? The only thing good about. Okay, let's check. Drop. Drop is okay. -ish. Damage, uh, CB, it is okay. Okay, that heal trigger could have healed me, but then again, I might push my pon my opponent to you know. Uh, don't discard like this. Swing. Okay, then swing. Oh my gosh, I made a misplay. Should have swung with Kani there by itself to the rear guard, then do its play. Oh well. This is what happens when you only play the deck for like 
ten times at best. Yeah, it's the, yeah. Problem when you play the deck only ten times at best. Oh well, weird way to activate because it's like you could keep waiting and waiting for Vanguard. They change it a bit there. Like Vanguard has no such thing as mistiming, but by the looks of it, a mistiming there, which is kind of weird. Must be an update in the rulings because it's like it's been a while since I actually played in a tournament. Like the last time I played was around March or Feb. RLTCG. Real life TCG. Don't know why we, I use abbreviations when we're speaking. That's the problem with new lingo, new languages. You sometimes abbrevi abbreviate too much to the point that you lost the meaning of the abbreviation. So you need to explain more. Like hylogrific, hylogrifics, hylographics, hylogrifics, hylograph, hylogrifics, hyloglyphics, hyloglyphics. Is it hieroglyphics or hieroglyphics? Hieroglyph. Hieroglyphics. It's not fricks, it's fix. Oh. Activating skill to put itself back to the deck to superior call Blusher Blade Liberator. Hmm. Counter charge. If he activates a counter blast 2 skill and retires my negro, oh, he chooses not to retire negro lazy. Okay, huh. do I top card a grade 3 or stride father? Okay, no choice. Bye bye, one card. If I somehow survive this, you know what I can do? I can go Moigedo next turn. I forgot. I almost did the same misplay again. <laughs> Defense or offense? Possible future doesn't matter if I can't if I can't survive for the possible future.
Okay, I have two intercepts. That's good enough. Okay, I can. Wait, I forgot this guard gains guard restrict at GB3. Oh my gosh, guard restrict. Oh, and the power is so big, too. GG's opponent, you deserve the win. And I have one heal guard left. I have literally one heal guard left. If I heal, oh wait, never mind, never mind, he has a crit. He frick. Does he get. Oh my. Because normal people mostly first Sona, they try that Gurgit first, a uh, quad drive Gurgit first. But then again, you should do the quad drive Gurgit when you're gonna do Gize. Mm. But then again, ugh. Okay, come on, Grand Blue. I'm playing Grand Blue right now mostly because clan level and stuff. But again, the chances of me maxing that out is so low. Uh, if you want to max something out, just go play Link Joker or something. There's like two decks there that I haven't built yet. Technically, I built them. I just haven't played them because it's like I don't know how to play Deleters, I don't know how to play Messiahs. At least the current version of Messiah. So I know to the older versions of Messiah. Hmm. Okay, blasters again. Okay. Might as well be a bit aggressive now. I am going first stride, so... So I need to get as much heals as I can.
the only downside of the spirits is that they are useless as interceptors, as 10k interceptors or 9k interceptors. They're just like they are just they're just like glass shields that your opponent has to hit. They're just glass shields. Oh. oh my gosh, I forgot to turn on in-game sound. Oh well. Too high. It is too freaking high. The only thing I can do with this is consume this since that's gonna die anyways. Bring out Grenache. To just counter charge. Next turn, just to counter charge. Counter charge, counter charge, counter charge, counter charge, charge. Double healed, interesting. I got first right, I just did an Obadiah stride, which was okay. Speaking of Obadiah, there's the Pale Moon Grand Blue Premium set. How much is that? Account, don't be logged. Oh my gosh, it's logged out. I'm just gonna type Fortress. I just want to look, sheesh. No, it won't even let me look. Alright, annoying. 
Okay, I draw a card so I can stride. But my Vanguard is like 21,000. He needs a want to pass. But he can do a want to. Oh, wait. He doesn't get a drive check. He just wasted a counter blast. It has retire protection, so. What do I do? Hmm. Oh, wait. Hmm. Let's check. If I go here. My next right cannot be Megiddo. If I go here, my next right can be Moigedo. Hoping for a best like one trigger will do. One trigger will push this guy. And this will draw me a card. Possibly a perfect guard. Okay, I'm just gonna when I need to discard a card, I'll just discard something. Oh my gosh. Come on, one trigger. I didn't get a single trigger. Okay, heal guard. Since I strode first, okay. Another heal guard. Oh well. It was just the way the cookie crumbles. Hmm. At least it was non triggers that went away. Okay. That's another loss. I'm gonna change decks and possible spoilers. Then again, then again, I, I majority of the time I spoil my viewers of possible deck profile videos that I have by showing them on stream. 
Might as well do it with great nature. Ah, uh, yes, I have a great nature deck now, and it's pretty good. At least for me, it felt pretty good. After I did my change, because I I did the ver version one, it did pretty badly because I kept running out of counter blast and I kept uh, kept misplaying. And version two was better because I didn't run out of counter blast as much, and it was okay. And I used to be 274, I just lost a follower. Maybe it's a bot, but then if you have like over over the minimum amount of followers, the followers that you have kind of becomes like meaningless. As long as you get over the minimum amount of followers for affiliate, the people you care about who your followers should be are the ones who sh watch your stream and talks to you, or, or at least lurks. Because it's like a human person can only have 200 plus people at best, to be friends with because after that they'll they'll keep forgetting you this is why having para social relationships is just no it's not para it's pseudo social relationships pseudo as in fake or lifelike or almost No opponent for great nature by the looks of it. I'll just keep playing though. If not, after one hour, I'm just gonna switch to Duel Links. Because there's an event. The event is just Shave, which is kinda mad because it just exceeds summoning. I'm not really into exceed summoning. Like my favorite summoning mechanic is Synchro Summoning. Followed that by maybe Pendulum Summoning. I really like pendulum summoning because it was like pendulum and it was like mass summoning you you swarm your board and when it was at this heyday it was the best but they got nerfed because of link monsters then again everything got nerfed because of link monsters but because people dislike that so much they just nerf it for pendulums oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's I. Uh, I like Game of Thrones and The Song of Ice and Fire, and Fire and Blood. Never read those books. Only watched this show once, but I read too many fanfics. Was because of like what is and stuff, and because it's like I don't have the heart to read the book where I know the ending's not yet there. Because it's that because I don't want to be a, like a One Piece fan. Who's constantly waiting and waiting and waiting? Like, because I should, I should just buy like a either buy or down the whole Harry Potter novels, then just read them in my time, spare time. Because they're already complete, and I can also watch the pseudo canonish book based on the screenplay. It's pseudo canon because uh, it's similar to Akira Toriyama in Dragon Ball Super. Except it is more canon than GT. Thing is, like, the level of canon that GT has is less than the is less than the screenplay of Harry Potter. That is, because in GT, Rainbow GT, Akira Toriyama only gave two things: the name of the show, which the name, name of the show at best, and character designs. Only for like the first character designs, like, like for the first episodes and stuff. Everything after that is all Toei's fault, or Toei's making. Like Super Saiyan Four, such a great design. This is one thing I'm gonna say: Super Saiyan Four is good. Baby Saga is good. Okay, that's the only good aspect of GT. Everything else sucks about like Black Star, Dragon Ball, Art, rehashing. 
the original arc of Dragon Ball, but quite badly. Like they, they, the power scaling of GT is even worse than Super because it's like Super power scaling. All the opponents in Super are either god, are either gods, or from a different universe. Any main opponent that is that is in universe is a rehash character like what's his face. Frieza. They reuse Frieza. At least we already know Frieza super strong, super powerful, have has great amount of potential. So him giving it tough for our characters makes sense. But the Black Star Dragon Ball arcs doesn't make sense at all. Like Frieza because like lore wise, Frieza is part of a five hundred thirty thousand was considered the strongest in the universe besides Majin Buu besides Majin Buu and unlike unlike Earth the drag the Namekian Dragon Balls only restored planet Earth and the lives of planet Earth they did not revive those from other plants unless I misremember it like then again master reviving planets master reviving lives dragon balls are such a great item to have only downside is you have to find them okay yeah because of the power scaling like 530,000 was a high spar level Goku should be way beyond that because it's like his base form should be like kid boo level at minimum at minimum and Trunks was able is like half of Gotenks who is, ha, is who is, at Super Saiyan 3 is like super boo level or at base close to boo level it's close to boo level so fat boo level to be precise ah. Wrong card, you know what? Oh, wait, I got the second chance because I can choose because I chose not to invoke it, so I got the second chance. I am going all out. I don't really care because I'm having fun. I ditched two perfect guards for this man. I ditched two perfect guards for this. And I'm sadly 1k short. <laughs> and I'm giving the protection to a perfect guard. Because if, because if these, two, these two retires, I draw a card. I'll draw a card. I'll draw another card. So I have a PG. So if he chooses to, I give retire protection to this guy, right? Unless it only works for successful units. Unless I accidentally pick one of the cards that was supposed to be retired. Oh well.
Okay, Dragon Ball Canonicity. And by the way, it says that only Western fans care about canonicity. But then again, it's like, uh, because the thing is like, anime never had to think about canon because like, there's only one version. There's only one version of Naruto, one version of Luffy, and etc. Very few anime, manga, and light novels have different versions. Which is why in DC Comics, Marvel, etc. Is this canon? Because it's like, there's a Superman who's gay and his lover is Batman. And there is a Superman who's black and he's president. And there is a version of Batman who has a loving family but but died for them, which is Earth 2 Batman, the new 52. He got married, popped the question to Selina. They had a daughter who became Robin, so on and so forth. Huh. That's just kind of sad how Earth 2 ended in the new 52. Don't know what happens now because I haven't been paying attention to comics except that they are trying to get new comic book readers back or old comic book readers back by introducing injustice back to it just like that's the only way for them to get back to get back what was it get back fans injustice because in the injustice timing is just so so good uh-huh. I can go here it'll give me max power PG. This is also PG range. Okay, I'm giving the part to this thing just in case I get the stand trigger. Come on, do I get stand triggers? Come on, I run nine stands. Yes, Megatron. Yes. So I think this is a once per turn. That's three. That's three PGs gone. I have no PGs, only one intercept. I am dead. Blader Mouse turn. Come on, kill me now. I have two heals. I will survive. I might survive. I might survive. Everybody. Everybody. <sighs> okay. What do I want to talk about? I don't really know what I want to talk about. Like, like, what can we talk about? There's a kick situation that's becoming good. I tried making a kick account just for the heck because it's like, but then again, I can just stream on YouTube. Then again, I can't stream on Rumble because you have to pay for that. Like, like you literally have to pay if you want to stream on Rumble. I literally check. You have to like. If you wanna go live, okay, you press go live. Then yeah, you, then you're gonna re be the re redirected to like a pay something because you need to pay to, you know. 
Uh. Oh. Hmm. Well, maybe they change it because there are more people now. Maybe they change it because there's more people now. Heal? Uh, no heal. Oh well, but then again, I did do a risky play with double, double perfect guards on the first stride turn. Even though I just needed to put that back, put down one for the thing with Crayon Tiger. Okay, great natures are pretty fun clan to build, to play with. If you have all the cards, which means you have... Technically speaking, you just need the new set. That's the thing. Like, If you completed all the cards in the new set, then you're good. Then you're good. You just need like, effect, uh, amazing, professor, big belly. Because uh, uh, teachers gain affection, professor, whatever, big belly. He's okay, but he requires a counter blast. And honor works only on successful units. So you need to bring down your non successful units to actually use him. Come on, give me an opponent. Come on, I have so many fun decks to play with. That's another reason why it's hard to be a Vanguard Zero Stream. Because, like, look at this. We have so little people playing the game now. Because it's dying. Come on, guys. The game is dying. Okay. It's official. We only get that couple of games that was, like, three or four games in total. With Vanguard Zero. And by the looks of it, I need to switch. Unless I open another instant and I just play against myself. I literally can't do that. I have like multiple accounts. I have like I have a guy account which is me. I have VJ Zingy which belongs to Beta. I have Beta's account. I have Drakara's account. I have Kiro Kev's account. I have Bridgewalker's account. That's already like six or something like myself, the Betas. Rakera, Kira Kev, and Bridgewalker, yeah, six accounts. One more try. Third time's a charm. Come on. Come on, man. I wanna have fun. Then again, I, again, I should try to play Tess Ash or something. Did. And by the way, my Musketeer deck profile's already out. It's one hour long because it's basically a stream of me trying to play with. Try to play with the. Uh, Musketeers because I almost lost a Musketeer deck. That almost loss showed me the value of that deck. You just have to try swing early game with the stride that is the profile pick. I mean the thumbnail.
And the reason why you run one copy of this, I, I hear, I'm just, why watch my deck profiles when I can just explain it on stream? Or maybe we should do what diff, uh, different fight does, make the decks on stream and just use a different thing. But then again, I, yeah, yeah I could, I just have to click record when it, to start. The only downside of running stance is that they're useless early game. Okay, swing this here. Okay, swing this here. Good power. This is now successful. Then it's good since it's successful, it can stand itself. Will I risk the skill that stuck? Wait. Oh my gosh, when it becomes successful. So it needs to be rested first. Oh well. I'm pushing a meta deck to 5. Nice. Telescope Bunny, you're very important. That's not even the real name. The real name is Telescope Rabbit. I'll draw a card. I will counter charge one and draw a card. Uh, the penguins are for counter charging.
one PG, two heal guards, and I can't take a hit sadly. Does he run stance? He runs stance, crits, and draws. So when he drive checks, it will be a Russian roulette. If he gets crit or draw, I'm safe. If he gets stance, I am dead. So hopefully he doesn't get stance because if not, I'm dead. Pay the cost of tried father so I can double call these two. Okay, I am a. Wait, 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 wait. Never. PG. There's no choice. This guy swings. Is he ritual 5? He is ritual 5. But he has to call two cards with no power. They have no power unless his skill activates. Ritual is GB3. He's only GB2. They have no power. He just wasted cards to just call a bunch of useless grade ones. And he's not even grade ones without gain power. So like then again, there's like no grade ones that gain power. So what he just is kind of it uses. Does this have a skill in the Okay? Calling this card again because let's check. Okay, back, back, back. I can go Managar more. If I go Managar more, I'll give more power here. Okay, four uh, plus four, fifteen plus four. With a skill nineteen plus four, thirteen. Hmm. Or just go big boy. Just go with big boy. Just go big boy. Just go with Balor. Because Balor gives more power. Okay, PG check. Double heal guard. Stunning the elephant. Uh, got a counter blast. Okay, could have gone with Managarmor. But Managarmor wouldn't have given me so much power. Like I said, just go Balor all the way. Balor, Balor, Balor. The other shards are just there for flex purposes, by the looks of it. And playing another three minutes dad.
Okay, I can try it. Oh my gosh, it is great. It is Narukami and it's actually a good Narukami deck. Vanquisher. Vanquisher versus Eradicator. Eradicator is more fun to play with because of Zillion being a possible first tried restanding thing, but it requires your point to be at 5. Guru Wolf. Guru Wolf is replaceable. You can replace it with the success unit that you can just replace Guru Wolf with anything. You don't even use Guru Wolf. You might actually put more copies of Peldation Penguin or something. Or might even replace it with Hamskis. If it gets a trigger here, it'll kind of stop the onslaught. It does not stop the onslaught. I'm just getting started, man. Just getting started. Ooh. Come on, give me one stud. I didn't get a single stun trigger, but at least I'll draw a card. Protecting rabbit because I need rabbit. Counter charge and draw. I'll draw. My hand is back again. Hmm.
That's his first stride. That's kind of that's kind of depressing. Look at this first stride. It's very very depressing a bit. Okay. The only downside is that Zoa is kind of useless now because Zoa is only usable when your opponent is at you know what. At four less damage. Okay, let's check grade three count. Still has too many grade threes. So point la. Wait. Wait a minute. Never mind. I'll just try this thing. Boom, 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 boom. I'm calling this card here. Power. Calling this card here. Calling this card here. Boom. Flipping a con un unlocker. Boom. Okay. First thing first, swing. Does nothing. Okay. If I get a stun here, it does nothing. Okay, first swing. PG check. Stunning this card. Activating other card. Double heal guards. Do you have double heal guards again? No more heal guards! Okay, win win! Yes. The power of great nature. Okay, my mom is calling me. My mom told me we're going to go to church in an hour or so. So that means we can keep playing. Okay, I'm going to keep playing Great Nature because I love playing the deck now. Because Great Nature has come back from the grave. Because of Balor. Without Balor, Great Nature would be trash because like what would be a good first strike card this thing? What would be a good first strike card if it's not Balor? Balor. That's why Balor is the uh, thumbnail for the second take. Because I didn't know Balor's greatness in the first try. The first try was like over one hour long. We just kept trying to check if it could work.
Need a new grade one. Uh, no choice. I'll have to ride the PG. Never mind. I can just ride this card. He'd only call a stride for to search for your grade three. Either you're going second and you want attack with two units. Or when you're at your grade 2 because it's the last possible chance, you can hope for top deck luck to get the grade 3 you desire. Because anything post that, you're just wasting your time. Unless you're really unlucky and you didn't even get the stride father to search. By looks fit, I am going first, so discard to get the grade 3 I desire. And swing. No choice, man. Oh my gosh, I just realized something. I should have called this here because because there's a thing called Nepada. Nepada, you're a menace to society. Ugh. Never mind, Nepada. My sound trigger corrected my misplay. But you're still a menace to the game Vanguard Zero. Because it's like. Because it's like, your Chronicle's offensive and defensive. Pick one, man. Sheesh. It's just hard. Quad, <laughs> oh my gosh, so many intercepts, so many intercepts, so many intercepts. That's four freaking intercepts. Four intercepts. Freaking four. Okay, let's uh, discard the. Change place. 
Uh, going Balor as the only good card. Ugh. I need two stun triggers to actually make this go through. One stun, giving this thing power. Okay, only one stun trigger. <sighs> Which means I just basically. <gasps> Did nothing to my opponent. He's still. He's only at three. <sighs> Thankfully, this is too weak to do anything. But still, PG, I'm pushed to fight this thing. Yeah, I have one heal left in my deck, so I can possibly top deck that. Yeah, you also put. Oh, it's hand or deck by the looks of it. Okay. 6 damage heal Nothing
Oh my gosh, Dragonite, Pokey, Catch, Ultra Ball, Pokey, Chair, Pokey. Yes, I got Dragonite. Yes. Uh, putting back Rayon Tiger. Right. Oh my gosh. Old school Nobatama starter? Is this your stealth? Or is this a dominate card that runs just to confuse me? Yep, it's your stealth. Calling this card. Calling this card here. Discarding my heal guard. Because I'll just get a new heal guard. Get my stun trigger. I have a Dragonite. My favorite po Pokemon type is Dragon. Second favorite type after that would be Electric. Because Electric has only one thing, which is Ground. Then Fire. Then Water. Then ground, ground, grass, water. Stan nothing. Going Balor, I have nothing that is useful. Okay, uh, hard strike. Okay, hard strike because I have no choice. Because, ugh.
I'll draw a card. Uh, this thing can still hit. Then I'll draw I'll draw two cards because wolf skill, then other skill. Then activating this card, stun one trigger. They're basically the same, so just stun the one with the back row. Another one, good choice, very good choice. And I'll draw two cards again. No, I'll just draw one card because this will be five damage and this will be a damage check. damage check oh my gosh it's on hit ouch bye bye front row you can no longer be used by my opponent and I'll draw cards Oh my gosh, I live. Then again, uh, heal guard. Uh, this card. PG. Balor all the way, man. Balor all the way. I need to draw cards, so there's that. Activating skill, flip a uh, unlocker. G. You only have two cards in hand, and I can do like five swings a turn. I can do like five swings a turn. This will get me a draw card.
Okay. It's we've been grinding longer zero for two hours. It is time for a change. Which is me switching to dual links. Which will temporarily require me to end the stream. Uh, I'll just change this first. Okay. Do links. Okay, I switched it to do links. Save and.